topic, so let's have factoring polynomials. So what are the factors of x squared plus 6x plus 8? So we're going to use the remainder theorem and x plus 2, one of the choices no, that we have in the column B of the previous activity as divisor, uh, we're going to have x equals negative 2. So p of negative 2, so we're going to substitute the value of x as negative 2. So we're going to have a negative 2 squared plus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. For in, we're going to have 4 minus 12 plus 8. And that is 0. So x plus 2 is indeed a factor of x squared plus 6x plus 8. So the value of c should be taken from the constant 8. And the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8. Either both positive or negative, then the polynomial is of degree. So then there are two factors. So now let us use the long division or the synthetic division for us to get the other factor. Using, using synthetic division, so we're going to have negative 4. So let's take negative 4. So we have 1, 6, and 8. So bring down 1, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, plus 6 is 2, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus 8 is equal to 0. So this means that the factor, or the other factor, is x plus 4. So the factors of x squared plus 6x plus 8 are x plus 2 and x plus 4. Okay, so let's have the learning test one. For number 1, the factors are x plus 2 and x plus 4. For number 2, the factors are x minus 1, x minus 2, and x plus 3. For number 3, we have x minus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 3. Okay, so let's have the learning task 2. Okay, wherein we're going to determine the factors of the given polynomial. So we have um a no so we have the first one as x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 and the factors are so we have x plus 1 x plus 2 and x minus ah x plus 1 x minus 2 and x plus 3 for number 2 we have x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1 and the factors are x plus 1, x plus 1, and x minus 1. For number 3, we have x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus 8. So the factors are x plus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 4. So we have in here the learning task 2, letter A. For letter B, for number 1, no, we have uh, the value of the area is 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. For the weed, we have x plus 2. So if we're going to use the synthetic division, so the value of x is negative 2, and negative 2 is our divisor. So we're going to have 3, positive 5, minus 2. So bring down 3, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus 5 is negative 1, times negative 2 is positive 2, minus 2, and we have 0. Therefore, the other factor is 3x minus 1. Yeah? And that will serve as our length. For number 2, so we're going to have the uh, uh, synthetic division. So we can get, no, if, if an own, uh, okay, synthetic division. So we're going to have the uh, divisor as 4. Then we have 6, negative 17, 24, negative 34, and 24. So we're going to bring down... 6 times 4, that is 24, minus 17 is 7, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 24 is 52, times 4 is 208, minus 34 is 174, times 4 is 696, plus 24 is 720. So, the value will be 6x cubed, plus 7x squared, plus 52x, plus 174, plus 720 over... 300 uh, over x minus 4. Yeah? 
Okay, so let's have the next one. Okay, so the next one that we have is uh, learning task 3. So we have 1, 2, 5, no? So the first one, uh, what the four rather? The first one that we have is uh, the value of x is 1. So 2 times 1 to the ten, uh, 7 times 1 to the 5th minus 5. So the rem the remainder is 4, no? The other one we have 2 as the value of x. So 2 squared plus 8 times 2 plus 12, which will give you 32. For number 3, so the factors of x squared plus 8x plus 12 is x plus 2 times x plus 6. No? For us to get the value of k, so 4 is equal to 1 cubed minus k times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 2. So, if we're going to evaluate this, the value of k is a negative 2. Yeah. Let us answer you know, the following questions you know, as a reflection. How do you factor polynomials? Discuss the mathematics concept and principles applied when factoring polynomials. The other one is, what new realizations do you have about factoring polynomials? How would you connect this to real life? And how will you use this in making decisions?